principle of conscious creation is the principle of attraction. Attraction is something that gets very misled because someone has tried to call it a law of attraction. It's actually a principle and it's something that you can't avoid. If you take two different seeds, let's say a strawberry seed and a carrot seed, you put the strawberry seed in the same soil as the carrot seed, guess what's going to happen? In the same soil, the same light, the same water, the same environment, they're going to pull different nutrients out of the same environment and create completely different things. You'll get carrots, you'll get strawberries. True? We know this to be true. If you, if you need any more proof than that, that there's such a thing as attraction, then you're missing out. See, the thing is, you can break open seeds and you can look at them and you won't see anything. Just you'll see little broken up seed. There's nothing there. It's invisible. So what's doing the attracting? What's well, what it is? See, the law of attraction makes you feel as though this is a law that you can't break. And I want you to get this. Law of attraction sucks. It sucks. It is a hard master. It doesn't care. It just follows the principle of attraction. Here's what I mean. You will attract what you are. That's it. There's nothing outside of it. You will just attract it. That's it. See, if you've had a hard time in life, maybe there's been some trauma, and that becomes your resonance. Maybe you grew up in scarcity. Maybe you grew up in a war-torn part of the world. Maybe you had to flee you know, abuse. That's it. That is what you're planting into the universe. It sucks, I know, it's completely unfair. But the principle of attraction doesn't really care. It doesn't mind. It just says you will attract what you plant into the universe. What you plant, what you plant will grow. And so what we must understand that if you are simply planting the wrong vibration, the wrong resonance into the universe, that's exactly what you're going to see grow and that will become your life. And this is very interesting to me because you simply cannot plant uh, you know, seeds of doubt and grow a confidence tree. You can't plant seeds of scarcity and grow an abundance forest. See, you must be it before you see it. And the principle of attraction tells us this. And it's so fascinating to think about. A lot of people don't want to hear about the law of attraction because they tried it. They thought a, a thought once or meditated for 10 minutes and then wondered, well, where is, where is it? You know, I am rich, I am rich. Well, where's the riches? See, you're going to attract what you are, not what you think about one morning. And you're not going to be able to ever attract if you focus on what you don't want. The principle of attraction says this, you will attract what it is that you put out. Everything that you put out, what you're resisting, what you're going for, what you're scared of, what you are, what is safe, what, everything about you. And one of the easiest things for us to do is just notice our current reality. So don't get yourself in some sort of thought process that you're not ever going to be able to shift it or that you had a harder life than someone else. And yeah, I get it. The law of attraction sucks. Wherever you are now, you can simply let go of everything that you've been, everything that's there, and we can shift. However, it will take a little bit. You can't just plant a new seed tomorrow. You can't just rip up all the seeds now, plant a new seed tomorrow, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's the the new plant. It's going to take a while. You have to hold the vibration. You have to hold the resonance. One of the most beautiful things about being a human being is we can change our thoughts. You know, as Jim Rohn said once, you can change. You're not a tree. You have the ability to shift your resonance. You have the ability to shift what you're planning into the universe. And so I decide to do it and I decide for you to do it as well. The law and principle of attraction cannot be overlooked. It's very, very important. I'll see you in the next principle.